we've got a large range of tooling that we have to keep in tip-top condition. Some of these tools run 24 hours a day, seven days a week for weeks on end. We've got to maintain their accuracy and keep them in good running order. Strata products make a wide range of plastic products, and as a result, they've got a tool room. They've got a, you guys have got to maintain a load of uh, plastic injection mold and die tools. Can you just first of all give us an introduction to who you are, please, Ben? What you guys do, and what you guys do here? I'm Ben. I'm the engineering manager at Strata. I'm in charge of the tool room. We've got a large range of tooling that we have to keep in tip-top condition. Some of these tools run 24 hours a day, seven days a week for weeks on end. We've got to maintain their accuracy and keep them in good running order. Once the tool's finished its production run, it comes into the tool room. Sometimes it just needs a basic cleaning service, general check over. Sometimes there's problems associated with the running conditions, general wear and tear or some damage that might have occurred. A typical example is uh, an ejector pin may have scored up, so which will cause the ejection mechanism to seize, so the mouldings won't eject from the tool properly. An uh, example of that recently, I've had to uh, open up a, a, a reamed hole on the, on the milling machine that we bought from Colchester to the next size pin from a 6 to a 6.5. Uh, I've also had a plant pot tool where the, the pins that make the holes in the bottom of the plant pot They've got flattened and damaged, so I've had to make some new pins, which I've made on the Colchester Triumph lathe. We've had two broken nozzles this week from the barrel on the machine that, that uh, secrete the plastic into the back of the mould tool. Again, they've been made on the Colchester Triumph. We had a broken nozzle in the end cap on the machine, which was machined out on the Colchester Triumph. So you can see the machines are very useful to enable us to keep on top of the problems with the tooling. It's, evident, it's obvious it's a very demanding environment inside those injection monitor machines that you have to keep fixing them yeah. day in, day out. Yeah. Now, can we dig a little bit deeper into the technical problems you've got? So, when you say the plant pot, the bottom of the plant pot mould was cracked, yeah. what happens to it if it gets cracked? If it's cracked, then we'll, we'll decide whether we make a complete new insert for the tool or more often than not we'll have that laser welded up. Obviously when it's welded, the, the weld is at a rough surface, so again we have to put it in the lathe to machine that down or on the miller machine, depending on the shape of the part. Right, so what kind of operations do you find yourself doing day in, day out on these machines? Uh, lots of spare parts that we'll make, we'll make spare nozzles, so that we like to stay ahead of things, so if one breaks sometimes, unless it's a special nozzle, that we've got to make it specifically, but no, we have a lot of standard parts that we like to keep spare stocks up, so that if one does break, they can just get one out of the cupboard. Um, so so that's, that's the job in itself, maintaining those spare parts. So I've found, obviously you guys, you've got a lot of different, basically it's a different job every day you've yeah. got to do. Yeah, yeah. Do you find the easy use of these machines helps you get up and running between the semi-automatic lathe, between the manual lathe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does yeah. that ease of use help with yeah, all these very different they're jobs? They're very user friendly, the way they design the position of the various handles and levers and the safety features on there uh, just, just makes the majority use. Yeah, exactly. What about the semi-automatic lathe as well? Because that is obviously moving closer to a CNC machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's very it's very handy. Uh, it's not full CNC, but it's got about eight functions, sort of basic uh, turning functions that you would use, and it's very easy to program. Where you just enter uh, several basic dimensions, and then it writes the program for you automatically. So you've not got to learn any G code or programming language, you know, and spend hours going through a program and. You know, and then you get it wrong and you try it and oh, you've got to start again and things like that. So it's, just, it's a very good machine. Right, so these obviously, these are all easy to use tools that help you keep yeah. those machines running. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So if you need a good, sturdy, well-built machine tool that's easy to use to help support other operations that are critical to the business, check out Colchester Machine Tools. Thank you very much, Ben. Thank you.